an object that exists in a program's memory consists of binary data that a computer can use directly. Serialization is the process of reducing an object to its primitive contents like numbers, strings or arrays in a manner that preserves its structure. Encoding a serialized object is the process of converting its primitive contents to an output format by following a specific set of rules. Consider an object in memory that consists of two primitive values. Here you have a variable named huge party which is a party object with two integer properties pizzas and people. The serialized representation of this object contains its primitive values in a structured format. It is not important what this representation looks like. What matters is that it contains the information about the object so it can be encoded into a specific format. The object's encoded representation contains its data represented according to the rules of a specific format such as JSON, XML or YML. Here is an example of JSON representation. Of course, before a computer can use encoded data, it must decode the data. Decoding is the process of passing encoded data to produce a deserialized representation of an object consisting of its primitive contents while maintaining its structure. Deserialization is the process of converting such a decoded stream of primitives into an object. Thus decoding and deserialization are the opposites of encoding and serialization respectively. Here is a diagram that summarizes the flow of converting a piece of data to and from an encoded representation. The Kotlin object is broken down into primitives via serialization and encoded into data. Then the data can be decoded into primitives and deserialized into a Kotlin object. Now that you understand the differences between serialization and deserialization, it is time to get started with the Kotlin serialization library in the next episode.